Welcome to the Ladybug tutorial. Over the course of the next few weeks, I will upload the Grasshopper Ladybug tutorials. Ladybug allows to visualize the weather data and various environmental analyses based on the set of geometries. The first part of the tutorial will demonstrate how to set up the Ladybug in Grasshopper, import the standard weather file and data, draw a basic solar radiation diagram. Okay, let's begin the session. So I've got buildings built ready for running the simulation for the tutorial. So please get your building and the context ready in a simple form. So before I start going into the session, I'll quickly run through the overview of Ladybug. Number zero Ladybug that allows you to set up the Ladybug component as well as you can download the weather file and the other data. And when you get to number one, analyze the weather data you get number of analysis uh, data extracted from here. And if you go to number two, visualize the weather data, very straightforward, you get to visualize your uh, weather data. Number three, environment analysis, you do get number of radiation as well as other view analysis under there. Because number four, uh, there are a series of renewable energy uh, calculations and simulation you can do, such as a photovoltaic performance uh, analysis. You get to number five extra, you get to do series of, you know, the uh, gradient control as well as other weather, weather environmental data and the developers and work in progress that you can see some useful files under there too. So please do explore them. So first of all, you need to set up the ladybug uh, under zero ladybug and to see whether it's actually working, you just simply plug the panel on the output. So I'm going to group it this and call it setup. And the next you have to go to um, download the weather file. So I'll drag and drop Ladybug download the weather file here to see whether it's actually working. Again, put the output to the panel and that tells you what to do. So you will need a Boolean toggle there. So type Boolean toggle and connect that to download. And if you launch that, in a second, you'll, you'll, you'll get onto the website of the, of the Ladybug Tools, EPW Map. You zoom right into the location where you want to go and download the weather file off. So there are a couple of other options so you can actually simulate the um, or extract the weather file and weather data. First of all, you need the import EPW component. So it as well shows you what you can actually get out. So latitude and location and temperature and et cetera, et cetera. It's quite handy to read all those as well. So first of all, I'll drag and drop uh, EPW and STA weather file uh, open component. And then after I'll show you how to use the open EPW uh, weather file directly from the local directory. Give these different name. So I'm going to first one, I'm going to call it live link because this is the one that you can actively update your weather file from the um, from the website. Second is the one you download the weather file that on your local drive and link it directly to that component. So you don't really need to rely on online or the website. So in order to get the live link work, you need to get the website address. So go back to that weather file website again and click the location that you'd like to get a weather data of and there you you get to copy the link you click that the second one and copy and paste into the panel and as soon as you connect that you can immediately see where that weather file is extracted from it says the same James Park so it's running okay and secondly you can download that weather file save it somewhere in your local drive what you need to do is extract that weather file zip file and then link that to your component there so in order to link that you'll need to use the boolean toggle as well so as soon as you put that true you get to choose that file path and to in order to check whether it's actually working or not you just put the simply panel to the epw file so first of all, I'm going to use online whether it actually works or not. So it looks like it's actually working by hovering over your mouse to the output. Second, you do the exactly same thing. Seems like it's working fine too. So I'm going to group this for the, 
for the ease of controlling it. Then move it around. So today's session, I'm going to show you how to do the solar radiation analysis. So go and grab that component from number three. And in order to run that, you will need to define the north. So you can define that with a vector. Right click there and you can actually choose where the north is. Whichever direction that you like. Second, you'll have to select the actual the massing. In this case is a tower, so I'm going to name it tower and connect that to the geometry input. And then second, you'll copy that BRAP, select the context one by one. So once you've got that all selected, I'm going to rename that to context. Drag and drop to context. And you need to define the grid size, which means that it depends on what sort of unit size that you have defined under your Rhino model space, you actually get to choose the size of the grid. So in this case, if I put it to five, it's a five meter grid made on that geometry surface. And that geometry surface will be created and then that will set the distance from the base surface. In this case, I'm going to make it 0.1, so which is like 100 mil offset from the surface of the tower. Orientation study P um, doesn't need to be touched. So once you have got that uh, ready, move on to selective sky matrix under number two, visualize weather data. Connect selective sky matrix to sky sky matrix. And the second you need to get is a cumulative sky matrix that also sits under number two. Connect the cumulative sky matrix to cumulative matrix. And then once you've got that done, you will have to activate the cumulative sky matrix. So go ahead, connect EPW5 to EPW file, and then you will have to make it run. To do so, you need a Boolean toggle. So go, go and get that Boolean toggle ready and connect that to run it. As soon as you turn that to true, it will take a, a few seconds or more so. As soon as it's activated, you move on to define the uh, period of analysis. If you go under number one, you will get to choose the peer analysis period. So it's very straightforward, obviously starting from the month. I'll define it as January, number one, and from day, do it from the first Jan hour, starting from zero. So two is the month, so it's December, number 12, to the month, and then to the day, it's the 31st, it's the last day of the year. To hour, we'll get it to 24, which is the uh, 24th hour. So as soon as you've got that linked, I'm going to group that so that I can find it later quite easily. Legend parameter, you don't need to define anything. That means that you will get that default setting. Go and connect the uh, Boolean toggle to parallel. It will ask whether you want to run the CPU in parallel. I always put that in uh, true, always run it a bit faster. And then, and then all you need to do is that you'll have to make it run and the rest bake it working directory or the project name. It's all straightforward, but it's not necessary. You can set that all up for the um, for better navigation and so as soon as you make it run, it will show you the solar map, the radium map on the massing. And I'm going to call it a test analysis on the project name. And 
and there are lots of other outputs you can get uh, you know the radiation mesh and the other results and etc i'm going to connect the radiation mesh so you can actually bake that part as well and then once you put the panel to radiation result you will get the um the, the radiation result uh, bottom to up and you can also bake the legend so you can take it to again um, illustrator so that's it for solar radiation uh, analysis and the geometry study. So in order to get different results, you have to understand your data first, and then you can modify your building form in order to make it optimized. Uh, next part, I'm going to show you how to analyze your sun path of the site. See you in the next session. Thank you.